Hi, this is the latest update on my 84% um, all-metal reproduction of the Polycarp of 185, the World War II Russian fighter. Um, I've just finished this afternoon fitting the um, rear engine bay doors on both sides. They're only clicked in and hinged. I haven't been able to get any further than that today. Um, as you can see, I haven't got all the skin on the, uh, on the aircraft, but on YouTube under Rodney S. AAA, there's a video of, um, of the aircraft with all of the skin on one side. You can see what it looks like, but there's no engine on it. I've since fitted the engine so I can make the engine bay. The other area of the, uh, of the uh, skin of the aircraft that I hadn't completed was the turtle deck and rear window. They were finished a couple of weeks ago. We ended up cutting the turtle deck in half and then rolling them separately on an English wheel. And as you can see, um, it all ended up pretty good. I got a compound curve that I wanted in the, uh, in the turtle deck and it matches up reasonably well with, the, with all the tail feathers. There's uh, more of the components for the aircraft, including the port wing. I had a bit of an issue with the uh, washout, but I've managed to uh, re fix all that up. There's the starboard wing. When I pulled that one out of the jig, it was perfect. It's a bit of a bugger when you can't get them both exactly the same first time. There's the uh, Nanchang propeller with, with the spinner on it. Here's another shot of the tail feathers coming around onto the turtle deck. A bit of the, bit of the sun getting in the viewfinder of the camera. This is the port side of the engine bay, engine bay doors, exhaust pipes. There's the number three panel or the lower panel on the engine bay, cut out for the exhaust pipes. As you can see there they are under there. In a couple of years since the engine's run, so we gave it a bit of a turnover by hand the other day and everything's nice and free and oil fell out everywhere on the floor as usual with a radial engine. Well, that's about 7,500 hours and that's most of the major components done. Now it's just a matter of f finishing all the drilling and clear going, wash, acid etch, alodyne and paint and reassemble. 90% done, 90% to go. Thanks a lot, Sears.